Hey guys, it's Jules. Uh, it is December 17th, one week till Christmas Eve, two weeks till New Year's Eve, two weeks and a day till 2018. All right, all right. Oh, okay, what are we working on today? I'm actually, I'm so inspired right now. We went and saw Star Wars last night, so I'm working on my Stormtrooper piece um, that I'm super excited about and um, really kind of just want to get back into this and kind of get this all you know, get this figured out. So I'm going to start stitching while I'm talking about this piece, but, um, let me make sure that I'm on the right, that I get the right color. I hope the lighting is okay today because it's kind of overcast. So normally where I have a nice, um, area to, uh, to stitch, you know, like a nice light area to stitch. It's been a little harder today to get things kind of working properly. So, um, but yeah, I think I've, I think I've made a few adjustments that should be all right. So let's find out where we're going to be here. Um, and this is hard. I mean, it's just, it's silly just how hard it can be to see what's really here. Um, so don't mind me while I'm looking. I hope you grabbed your favorite little piece of cross stitch that you want to work on and that you're working with me here. So we went and saw Star Wars last night and all I'm going to say is that I loved it and that I'm so happy that I got more Star Wars projects here because um, I am such a big fan and my husband's an even bigger fan. And uh, so we, uh, we saw it in 3D. Um, which you absolutely don't need to go see it in 3D. I would suggest if you have access to a really good IMAX theater that you see it in an IMAX theater. And um, let's segue briefly. Um, yeah, let me try and hold this up a little closer. I swear, I feel like I'm needing glasses more and more every day. My eyes are having a harder time focusing on things. But um, anyway, I'm sorry for that little bit. So not all IMAX theaters are created equal. And I don't know the technical specs behind it, but I will say that if you go into a movie theater and the screen is small, like the kind of theater that you would, you know, the kind of small movie theater where there's only like, you know, so many seats and whatnot, it's not the best place to see an IMAX movie. IMAX needs big, big screens. And, um, hold on. Um, it needs big screens and, uh, just a really good, you know, a really large theater. And so there's, when we want to see the best possible IMAX, there's a certain theater that we go to here in, in Colorado. Um, if you live in Colorado and you want to know which it is, it's the one, it's the AMC Highlands Ranch. And, um, they have a couple of them there that are, they're gigantic, ginormous ones. We're going to get rid of this little thing right here. Um, there are the big ginormous ones that, um, which way did it go? Is that it? Was that it? That was it. Um, and that is easily the, the best place around to go to. So visually no complaints, everything looked awesome, but I don't want to get into the particulars because if you like Star Wars, um, you know, go see Star Wars, you know, you're going to need to cause it's awesome. <sighs> Anyway, so super excited to work on my Star Wars cross stitches going into the new year. Sent the mom off yesterday morning. Went back home. I sent her off in style. Um, she was flying back United. And I'm pretty cost conscious when it comes to travel and things like that. But there are a few things on occasion that I will splurge for if they're a good deal. And when we went to check, when I went to check my mom into the theater, to the theater, well, brain scattered. When I went to check my mom into the airline the day before she was going to leave, um, they had like their business class seats, which is like their first class on sale. Cause they had like, most of them were actually still open for some reason. And I mean, gosh, I mean, anybody who's ever flown on United and just taken a peek at the business class tickets, you know how expensive that they are. I mean, they're like twice the cost of normal tickets, 
But because I think it was so close to time, they were trying to make sure that they sold those. And um, so I went ahead and bought my mom an upgrade. And she'd never flown in sort of a first class business class section. And I gotta tell you, it was only like about $89. But that being said, the bag would have cost, I think like $40. And um, so it was only an extra $49, and we got so much from that. Um, when we went to the airport, there was this huge line of people because it um, were sort of like a, a Western hub for, um, not really a Western hub, but a big hub for United out here. And, um, and so there was tons of people who were... Uh, in line and I was like oh my goodness and then I was like let me look at your boarding pass and it had like the special premier access you know skip to the front of the line kind of thing so we walked down the um, the little the little ways on the airport there and sure enough there was a little there's a check-in area for people who were flying business class as she was and I Okay, I'm trying to find this on this grid, this next bit here. All right, I think it's up here. There we go. And um, so we got to like skip all that check-in and get right to uh, somebody that could help us out. And it took like two minutes to check my mom's bag. And then we walked down to security and again, she got like a TSA pre-qualification check or whatever. So she was able to literally just walk right into, uh, you know, walk right up. I mean, she was through security so fast. I barely had time to, I always run up top to the top of the, um, to the next floor. There's the, the security area in Denver airport is very wide open and you can stand at the top of this, like the second level sort of, and, and see people when they come out of security to go down to the trains. And so I always wait for my mom up there and, and wave at her. And uh, so she, uh, so anyway, so she got off great and apparently she loved it. And uh, she says she's spoiled now and we may have to do this from now on. <laughs> and I'm okay with that if we can get a good deal um, because, you know, you, you want your mom to fly in style if you can help her do that so i thought it was just a uh, i thought it was just a lot of fun and i knew she would enjoy it i've only flown that once in my life and it was many years ago and it was again it was like a, an upgrade i did at the time that i checked in at the airport and um i uh I was happy for it because I got a ton of space and honestly it was I almost felt like I wasted it in a sense because all I did was sleep um, I was so tired I just didn't want to mess with just the you know getting squeezed in with people and I wanted to make sure that I was comfortable and so yeah I, I literally slept the entire way and uh, obviously it was memorable it was a memorable sleep because I'm still talking about it now but anyway she had a good time Ah, uh, once again, don't know what happened to my my Caesars. We took them downstairs for something, and I can't remember what and where they are at this point, but I got to do a big inventory sweep today. Um, didn't really have time yesterday to uh, run through and um, do much in the sense of a, um, like pulling things together and looking at cross-stitch stuff. Um, See, I didn't even bother to get a highlighter. That's fine. I can deal with that. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I gotta get some things organized now. All right, I'm gonna change colors here. And until I get really good with this piece, this is just, things are gonna be a little bit slower in transitioning from color to color just because I mentioned this before, but this grid... I can show you the grid. I'm going to show you the grid. There's not a lot of colors on this, um, but let me bring it close. But you can see, like, let me put my finger down here. So we've got like a um, a Tie Fighter, you know, the little whatever that little thing right there. You guys know what I'm talking about. The little, it's all black there, but then down here it's like black on the left, white on the right, and then it's reversed. 
and it's just and that's the hardest part but all the symbols are so close to each other i'm like why couldn't you just go a b c d e f g that would have been so easy so easy <sighs> but oh well i'll get over it i just gotta do this pattern enough that i get it memorized and then it gets really easy to see so if i can do that then i should be good to go at some point i'll be good to go so um ba -ba 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 Is that what I'm doing? Yes, that is what I'm doing. Whew. It's hard. Cross stitching's hard, man. Sure. Anyways, mom had a great trip. Got a lot of stuff done. The last day we went to um, we went to the mall, the big mall near us, and uh, sorry, I'm just looking. That's right, hell. And um, I forgot why. Oh, I want to go to the puzzle store. Yeah. Um, there's like this puzzle store here that has like a. Um, They've got like jigsaw puzzles and stuff, and I, I would love to do jigsaw puzzles, but I, I don't have the time for it at this point. Um, but, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking while I'm talking, which is never good. One, two, three, four. Hmm. God, it's so hard to see. I'm going blind. Um... I'm not going blind. I'm just stubborn. Hmm. No, that's not it. I'm telling you, it's so hard. All right. There, up to here. One, two, three, four, and then start. Yes. And then one, two, three, four down. Whew. Let's see. So if you guys have problems seeing it, and you know I do too. Ugh, gotta find my glasses. I have a couple pair for like, I think I've showed you guys before, like for reading and whatnot. And I gotta track a pair of those down. Cause I have to wear special prescription glasses because I got an astigmatism. Sounds like an old person issue, but apparently younger people get it too. Anyway, whoops, there we go. Ah, but today, it's Sunday, it's gonna be all about the stitching, all about the watching of the football. Gonna get some stuff done. Very excited. Not really excited for football so much. There's something else that I wanted to watch. Oh, okay, Whew. okay. So my library, that was one of the trips that mom and I made. She wanted to just get a couple books because sometimes she likes to read a little bit like before she goes to bed, a little bit of downtime. And um, so uh, we went there and I needed to get a new library card because I had somehow lost my old one. I always have a little key fob or key thing that goes on my keychain, and I had lost it or it fell off or I don't know what. But um, so because that had happened anyway, so I'm sitting there and we're just talking about, you know, the library and how to get books. And she's like, are you aware of our, uh, our website? And I was like, oh, sure. Yeah. You know, I go to the website and this and that, and I use overdrive and all this. And she's like, well, have you seen the, the new, um, way that you can watch, uh, movies and, and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, well, no, actually I hadn't seen that. And she's like, well, go check it out. So once I got my card a couple of days ago, I finally went and checked it out and it's called, it's on an app called Hoopla. Um, and I don't know if they're just, partnering with Hoopla differently than Overdrive. They're both they're both apps on your phone and maybe even your tablet that you can use to read books that you can check out from the library like ebooks or um, my favorite's audiobooks. And that way you can um, you know it just gives you more resources for that because I um, 
see, I, st I looked away and I started talking and now I don't remember what I'm doing. All right, we got it right here. We're good to go. Hold on, let me, let me pause my talk in here while I get this part done. Um, Hoopla seems to be a lot better than Overdrive because Overdrive is like an extension of a library where you, there's only like so many copies of a book checked out at a time and you have, you know, three weeks to return it, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes you, you sit there and you wait for forever, weeks and weeks and weeks to listen to an audiobook that is very popular. And I don't get that because it's like, it's an it's a computer file. It's an audio file. It, it, you know, it's, it, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess in a way they don't want it like all over the place, but I just feel like it's kind of silly to restrict it in that way. Here we go. Right here. So anyway, so Hoopla doesn't seem to have the same limitations. I mean, I went on there and basically like right away was able to reserve, well, I shouldn't say reserve, but I favorited like a dozen different audiobooks that I wanted to, to listen to. And it didn't, when I, when I looked at them, it didn't say anything about, um, you know, having any kind of a weight or anything. It was literally just a, um, to say, hey, you know, you want to check it out now or what do you want to do? And then I was like, well, I just want to kind of save it in my list. And that's one thing that I'm going to start doing today too, is start listening to books again, because that is fun and that helps keep me focused. And we all know I need help focusing. All right, I'm going to go down into this grid down here, which is awesome. I mean, so the, the benefits of gridding, if you don't grid, is that I can take this 10 by 10 grid and I can look on my, um, on my, on my pattern and know exactly where I'm at. But it also allows me, cause there, there's a grid, there's a grid, there's a grid. It allows me to skip ahead a grid if I want to, cause I kind of, I kind of want to get this three by three grid done first. And that'll be halfway across the first page up here and about 40% down for that, for, for this page. And so, um, but I can, you know, there's, you can't see the pattern, but this particular color thing swath kind of goes down, down this direction. And then there's some different stuff up here and there's different stuff down here. So while I've got this color on, I just might as well go ahead and do like this grid, maybe that one too, but I think I'm going to do this one first. And primarily the reason why is because I don't have very much thread left and I might, might be able to finish this part of this grid. Oh, foibled, foibled, foiled, <laughs> foibled. All right. I don't think it's foibled. It's not a, I don't know. All right. Now I'm getting my hand in the, in the shadow, in the shadow. Let me try and move the light here. I've got my little clip on LED. Readjust this just a smidgen. Is that too bright, guys? A little too bright. Let me turn down the. Ooh. Too much? Is it on or. Oh, okay, so hold on. That's off. All right, and that is like a low level light. That's better. Okay. It's got like doodads and gadgets and blah, blah, blah. Um. Foibled. And that's where I was. I was foibled. on this grid is done. I'm still going to need a little bit more, a little bit more. Use my trusty scissors, sort of. 
bomb, bomb, bomb. Also great to use on a plane instead of scissors if they don't let you bring scissors on, which, I mean, I don't know why they would let you bring scissors on unless they were like one of those really um, crazy looking uh, um, tiny little craft scissors, you know, like that you, that little kids use that aren't very sharp at all. Um, but I have seen people bring those, bring those on. But I, I'm quite confident that if I were to, they would be like, you know what, you can't bring scissors on. Oh, my mom broke her streak of, uh, I don't know how many consecutive times that she has been searched by security going out of Denver. Several, let's just say several. And uh, it didn't look like she got searched this time. She's, I haven't talked to her since she's been home. So, cause she kind of, the line she was in was way, way off to the side. So I didn't get to see everything, but um, I don't think that she got, uh, you know, searched or whatnot, but she has been in the past and it's, it's just humorous because I'm like, seriously, I mean, come on. I think they look at her and they say, you know what? She looks really nice and sweet. She's not going to get too mad at us for pulling her out and searching her. We got to do our quota of how many different people. So I, I think, I think we'll pick her out and we'll be sweet to her and she'll be nice to us and we won't make a scene. And so, but she, uh, yeah, she, uh, she did good. She did real good. And then I, when I left the airport, I, uh, went to work and so got a little work in, came home and we went straight to the movie theater to figure out what time the movie started yesterday because we couldn't remember if it was three or what. And it's a good thing we went because it was actually a four. So, um, so we ended up going over to this little Irish pub for lunch and my husband got some amazing fish and chips. Um, I was a little jealous about the, um, about the fish. It was quite, it was quite good looking and, and he did give me a piece cause he's awesome. And, um, it did taste very good. I got a um, chicken ranch bacon sandwich thing, and uh, I was pretty pleased with mine too. Right here, but anyway, it was tasty and delightful. And then here's the crazy thing. So I, the last couple times I have been to this movie theater, love the movie theater, I keep having issues with my phone there. And by issues with my phone, I mean I lose my phone, which is never a good thing. Um, and and it was just, it's kind of funny because, whoops, because um, I didn't even realize it was missing. Like, I never realize it's missing until I get back in the car and I'm like, oh, where's my phone? And um, the time before, I had left it in the bathroom. Um, you know, they had the little, where the toilet paper holder thing is, is a little... Uh, table right there and I had I had had it out of my pocket so I just put it right there and apparently I walked out without it and which I still can't believe that I did that but because you know how your phone's always attached to you but um so anyway so uh they had it at um we had actually like left we were like 10 minutes away from the theater had to turn around and come back and I went to uh the um what do we call it like the the customer service area and apparently they have quite a lot of phones that get left in different parts of the theater and whatnot so I went and found it and well you know I think they had it for me so that worked out really really well I was super happy about that Dooby -dooby -doo. oh so this time what happened was I was in the theater and I was like, you know, we were, we, we weren't there for very long. Like, they have reserved seating now. So you can, per when you purchase your tickets, you can choose where you want to sit. So literally everybody walks in like five minutes before the movie starts. And so, um, we were there a little bit more before that, but, um, I realized pretty quickly, I was like, oh, I don't have my phone, but I didn't care. Cause I'm like, well, I'm not going to be on it because I am going to be watching the movie. And so I, uh, I was like, oh, it's probably in the car or whatever. So we get back to the car and my phone was there, but where it was, was interesting. It was sitting upright on the door handle on the outside of the car. 
So I must have dropped it when I got out of the car and didn't hear it and didn't realize it. And, uh, which is, I must be getting old. And, uh, so, but we were able to, you know, I was able to get that back. I couldn't believe it. I was like, that's awesome. And, uh, but I was really, you know, people are awesome most of the time. And, uh, I was very appreciative, um, of whoever that was. That's some good karma to put out in the world, um, to do something nice for somebody. And, uh, so, and it looked like they actually had also turned the phone off for me. So, um, just in case, you know, so it wouldn't kill the battery or, um, it wouldn't ring or something and have somebody see it there and whatnot. So, um, but anyway, yeah, everything was fine. And I did check and make sure that nobody had sent any weird texts and that nobody had made some, any weird phone calls. So that was important too. So whoever it was, was very cool about everything. So, um, I wish I could let that person know, but they're, there's just no way to let them know. But anyway, they did a good deed. You did a good deed, Charlie Brown. Oh, I better start part two here in a second. I'm just jabbering away and didn't realize that I'm almost done with my first 30 minutes here. Because my phone says, no, you can't record longer than 30 minutes. So I'm going to uh, grab a highlighter and um, uh, we'll do part two here in a second. I'm back for part two. Um, let me show you guys this little highlighter that I like. Um, can't see it. It's a little Sharpie. It's a little Sharpie highlighter, and I've I've apparently rubbed off the uh, the word Sharpie on it. But it has a little click top, which is awesome for me because I'm always losing the tops to my highlighters. But and then it's got a little a sharp little edge there, and I just it it's so good for. Um, I like these strong, vivid colors to highlight my projects or to highlight my patterns because they. Um, uh, it's it just, it, it makes the things that I haven't done stand out that much more. And, um, which makes me very happy. Ding, ding. Where am I? Bing, bing, bing. There I am. Meep, meep. All right. Shoo. Oh, if you guys want to see something funny, um, if you like Star Wars, just go on YouTube and search for Kylo Ren um, Footloose. And <laughs> it's pretty funny. A uh, little 80s nostalgia there for us, but it was pretty funny. Hello, Mercury. Mercury has come in the room and is now walking along my legs here. I think he's happy to have the um, big bedroom back. Get to lay on the big bed now. He did so well. Everybody did so good with my mom being here. I'm sorry. I'm just staring at this thing, trying to figure out what what where I should go next here. I come way up here, I think. Okay. There we go. And right here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, my mom did, my mom did great. My mom's not a dog person. She is such a trooper though. When she comes out here, we try really hard not to let the dogs sort of run loose around her, especially the, just the crazy ones like the golden retriever. But, um, it happened a couple of times, but the golden retriever didn't really care too much about her. He was, she was way more interested in what we were doing. So that was, that was good. That was better. But so everything went really well, and but it's nice to kind of get back into the routine. I know my mom is happy to be back. Um, she's at, probably at church right now with her group. She uh, is a very strong social group there, and um, so they will be happy to have her because she's awesome. I'm not just saying that. Other people say it too. And I'm really sorry that she didn't get on. Um, she is shy. She doesn't like to see herself on pictures or anything else like that. She's just, you know, not as comfortable in the digital age 
um, with throwing yourself out there as say I am. And my husband's also a little shy about it as well. So um, that's fine. That's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Up here, Buddha Buddha, and then down here, Buddha Buddha, down here. There we go. So, um, some of you guys uh, back and forth have had some comments on um, when I brief, very briefly mentioned intermittent fasting before, um, and. I've had, I had one very concerned individual who was very worried about me, and I appreciate that very much, um, that I might hurt myself by doing it. Um, and I, I guess I, I just need to explain a little bit more of exactly what it is and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, and if anything, this last week when I sort of came off of it because my mom was here, I sort of came off of it because my routine was totally messed up. And... Um, and it just, I slipped back into some old ways of, um, hmm, of doing, of, uh, of eating and drinking and whatnot. And I ended up, um, well, I'm sure I put weight on, but I ended up eating way too much and not feeling good, but I just, it was kind of, um, I don't know. Well, anyway, so I, um, found this out, this intermittent fasting thing, because like I said, I would like to watch a lot of videos on YouTube, and I like to uh, keep up to date on um, trends and whatnot, and it just kind of popped up, and I was watching some different people, and it's apparently it's been around for quite a, a, quite a long time, but it's gotten real. Woohoo, part three. Sorry about that. That's, I mean, it was a five-minute detour for me, but for you guys, I know it was just a second, but I, um, it's important to remember to charge your phone properly before you start a video, um, <laughs> which is what I didn't do. So uh, anyway, phone died. I had to build up a little bit of a charge before I got going here. So no worries. No worries. I just grabbed a new color and we're going to do a new color. And I just have to stare at the old color and make sure that I am doing the right thing. Is that the right thing? Is that the right thing? It looks like it's the right thing. It is the right thing. Yay. Okay. So let me get back to the whole intermittent fasting thing. So basically what it is, is it's, you could think of it more of a schedule of when you can eat, um, rather than it being like a time when you can't eat. Um, if it makes it easier to understand or convince yourself to do it. Uh, so I prefer what they call like the 16, eight method, which is where you don't eat and you don't drink anything that has any kind of a sugar or a sugar inducing quality. Like, um, even any kind of sweetener you can't do. Sorry. I'm just trying, I'm literally trying to find like the next thing to use with this. It goes way down here. Not this, but this. Hmm, ba -ba hmm, ba -ba hmm. Hmm, is right. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four. Did I do this already? That's not, I don't know, that's not how the song goes, guys, but that's what I was wondering. Okay, so it looks like I've used this color in a few places. I just missed a few things. We'll just, I'm just going to search and find things that I need to do. Okay. There we go. Rock on. Um, so, uh, what I basically do is I try at like eight o'clock at night, anything after eight o'clock at night is ingested is water. You know, if anything, no food, no diet, Dr. Pepper, you know, no, no other kinds of sodas or you know, not even like a flavoring for water. Like you just can't, the goal is that you just want to stop inducing any kind of insulin response in your body. And sorry, I'm just one, one, two, three. I 
can do that one there and uh so and i you know basically we all fast during the night we all fast like you know 10 10 hours or more or whatnot and all i'm doing is just extending that fast in the morning then when i wake up and i just drink water and i drink it until noonish and around noonish is when i can eat and and then I, again, I eat from about 12 to 8, and I kind of try to watch what I eat, although I don't feel bad about, hey, I, I just went to Wendy's and got a couple little double stacks, and um, I don't, you know, it's not, it's not um, helping the diet completely, but it's, it's also not as bad as if you, like, as far as the insulin response. Now, the reason why the insulin response is so important is because your body... Uh, basically, um, some people more than others are very susceptible to changes in blood sugar. And some people basically always run a little low or they run a little high. Um, and just depending upon what your body chemistry is and your genetics and your diet and all, all different kinds of things, your exercise, you know, that you do. And, um, so my problem has always been that I am very sensitive to, carbs in the sense of they go through my body like nothing and I always end up starving just starving um case in point I fell off the wagon with the diet this week and hold on I'm just checking out here hold on hold on well, I guess I did come through here and did and did that too. That is awesome. I guess I don't have to do as much as I thought I did. Wow, I did that too. I did that as well. Brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna go up and do this little section. I mean, normally I wouldn't, but um, I wouldn't want to. And I told you, I just told you like a half an hour ago that I'm only doing these three by three. But this particular coloration does extend a little bit through here. So if I can do a little bit more, it'll save me when I come back to to do stuff. But um, so what happened when I went off the diet, like how I used to be, is especially when it's cold outside. Like my metabolism will run a little faster and I'm hungry all the time. And what I basically did was I, I think the last two days, um, Thursday and Friday is I actually had breakfast. Don't ask me what I had for breakfast. What did I have for breakfast? Some honey and some muffins or peanut butter jelly sandwich. That might've been it too. Cause I was hungry when I woke up, like super hungry and then I uh, ate the sandwich. Two hours later, I'm starving. And we eat lunch out. Two hours later, I'm starving. I eat a sandwich. Two hours later, I'm starving. I mean, it's just, it just, it, it, the quality and the severity of my hunger is so much worse um, when I'm eating like fairly normal you know whether if, if I'd had cereal or yogurt or whatever if I put something food into my stomach at, for breakfast I am starving a few hours later and I attribute that to a very strong insulin response so when my um, I'm gonna change colors <laughs> um, so when my um, body, you know, when the glucose levels in my body go up because I've eaten, I have a very overactive insulin response. So my, my pancreas releases insulin, takes all that glucose, throws it into cells as quickly as it can. And because it drops it fairly quickly, I believe, I start to feel hungry again because your body, when your glucose is low, usually in some people, not in all, but you will start to feel, um, a lot more hungry and uh, to tell you to eat, your glucose is low. And so that's just, that was the last two days, that was it. Like I had to eat every two hours because I otherwise was just crazy and I needed, I just needed to eat. So I ate a lot of sandwiches and whatnot. We didn't have a lot of high protein stuff, but that was pretty much what I did. And I was hungry at night, I would eat at night. And so today, what, um, well, yesterday I started off and, um, 
So basically all I did was I started off by drinking water. And if I can get some good water in my system right off the bat, it does help. Um, and out here in Colorado, um, it is a, you know, what, what am I trying to say? Um, dehydration, uh, you're always kind of partially dehydrated unless you are drinking like all the time. Um, it's the altitude, it's the dryness of the environment. Um, and so, and the colder it is, the drier it is too. And so our humidity is like non-existent. And so, um, okay, well, it'd be helpful if I actually figured out what color I am. <laughs> Let's actually get back to this real quick. Uh, so now I'm doing, I was just doing the vertical TIE fighter. So this is how hard this is. So I was just doing 762 here, the vertical TIE fighter where it's black on top and or or uh, hourglass or whatever it's black on top white on the bottom now i'm switching over to 648 and now i'm going to be doing um white on top and black on the bottom so thanks designers i mean i love your pattern but i don't love how you chose to implement said pattern but wine 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 for me gotta stop that okay hold on bup, 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 bup. I gotta figure out where I'm starting here. Well, let's see. Mm, goes up the hill. One, two, three. Is that right? Hmm, not 100% sure on that. Hmm, baba hum, baba hum, baba hum. So wait, well, I was just doing black on top. Now I'm doing white on top, see? Get so confused. So confused. I'm gonna go way down here just so I can start with something. Come down here and work on this. Do, 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 do. One, two, one, two. Right. Get in there. Get in there. Perfect. Um so what was I talking about? Oh, I'm hungry all the time. Oh yeah, water. So um you know, they talk about a lot how, you know, when you're dehydrated, you can mistake thirst for hunger. Your body's trying to say, put something in, but it doesn't always specify exactly what. And, whoops, there we go. Let's get this a little bit better organized. Let's see, look, you can kind of see, I mean, I know what the pattern looks like, so I can sort of see the beginning of the, the pattern here, but I'm sorry. I need to have the pattern at some point, and I have it printed out somewhere. Um, let me make sure I don't have it right over here. That would be stupid if I if I had it next to me the whole time and didn't really show you guys. But I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, so somewhere, but it's not here. All right. Good gracious, guys. I'm gonna get my act together. I'm gonna start blogging more. Um, I just didn't really. I was so preoccupied when my mom was here. I just didn't really get anything. I got very little done stitching wise, um, but now I'm gonna get back into it. So it's gonna be good. Anyway, um, water. So anyway, so you know, the more you drink, the more full you will feel, the healthier you are, blah, blah, blah. We all know we should drink more water. And I, especially me, I need to drink more water and less diet Dr. Pepper. And um, so anyway, so if I drink water, that's not going to stimulate an insulin response. The body's not going to go, oh, I need to put that in. Oh, no, I don't. That's not sugar. I don't need to worry about storing that, you know, just whatever. And um, so, see, I'm doing the wrong color. I was doing black on top, not white on top. Or am I doing black on top? No, I'm doing white on top. Ugh, see what I'm talking about? See what I have to deal with, guys? First world problems. First world problems, that's for sure. All right, let's do this right here. Hmm. Wow, I, I mean, it's, I'm really struggling with trying to figure out like where I'm supposed to be because of the craziness. I know I'm supposed to be, I know I'm gonna cheat and go over here and do this one, Haha. But, um, 
Anyway, so it doesn't elicit an insulin response. So gradually over time, um, the body, you know, a as it needs energy, will start to kind of use the glucose that's in your system. So if you just don't give it anything um, for a bit, it will start to utilize, okay, hold on. It will start to pull sugar out of your liver in the form of glycogen, and it'll break it down into glucose, blah, blah, blah. Um, and there we go. So it'll do that, and then it'll reach a point where it's just, it's a little harder for it to do that. Maybe it's burned through um, those stores a bit. Pop through! I'm not going to worry about that now. And uh, so it'll start to use fat in your body and it'll start mobilizing fat for energy and if you can get your body to actually mobilize fat for energy rather than sugar all the time it's a it's a better energy source it is a more stable um, consistent energy source it will make you feel amazing because as um, as it breaks down the fat and whatnot there are various little things that pop into your bloodstream that give you sort of a um, a natural high um, make you feel good. What am I doing? What am I doing with my cross-stitching life here, people? And, um, all right. I'm going to cheat left and right going up here, guys, because to be perfectly honest with you, this is going to take the kind of concentration that I can't talk and stitch at the same time. So I'm just going to go up here and do a few of these up here. Um, so it, it, over time, it basically like every day that goes by, you know, you are breaking down a little bit more fat and you're not storing, you're not building up those glycogen stores in your liver. You're, you know, when you eat, you do build up those stores, but the um, body goes through them quicker and quicker on the next day. And so theoretically, it is basically you're trying to burn your body to produce more fat not produce more fat, produce more fat for energy in that sense. So it seems to work well for me because it really limits my hunger and it makes me have more energy. I'm less sleepy in the afternoons, especially after I eat. Like when I do finally go to eat, I'm a lot less sleepy afterwards. Um, I can control my portions a lot easier. Uh, I can eat healthier. I, I don't have like this crazy craving for, you know, sometimes you have cravings for like, oh my gosh, I got to have like a uh, fat, like, or I got to get fast food or something like that. And I just don't, I don't ever get there. So it makes me happy. But anyway, it's not been as effective for me. I feel like it's helped me just feel better, but I haven't really lost any weight. And I feel like the reason for that is um, I really got to get more serious about um, exercising. I um, got to do a bit more cardio, burn burn a little bit more, get the body's metabolism going just a little bit more. And uh, that'll be good. Here we go. See, now I'm on a good section here. Down here. But I'm just about done for the stitch with me portion of today's activities. It'll take me a while to get this uploaded and put, put the sections together and upload it and let YouTube do its the thing that it likes to do to it whatever that is, and um, get that done, and then basically get myself camped out, ready for football to start. And I think I'm going to just work on this um, some more. I'm going to try and fill in all these little spots here and get a little further along with this piece. Um, today, I definitely want to work on that, on that. And then I also want to work on um, uh, Old World Map, so I have not touched that in a couple of weeks. It's time to pull it out and get some work done. I want to put a blog post up or two or four. I just want to be more consistent about that. Um. Ooh, part four. Four. Man, I'm having all kinds of technical difficulties. But you know what? It wouldn't be one of my videos if I wasn't. But um, anyway, I just wanted to, um, to thank you guys for um, 
liking, subscribing. Um, I'm almost crazy enough. I am almost at, um, a thousand subscribers and that is just ridiculous to think about. Um, there's that many people subscribed. Um, I really do appreciate it a ton. Like I said, I mean, I'm motivated enough to do all these things on my own, like stitch and stuff, but it's so much more fun to share it with you guys and, um, and to, to totally get into learning new things about, you know, cross stitch and, um, sorry, I'm just fo still trying to focus here. And, um, I'm just super, you know, excited and th I'm super thankful for you guys. I, I do try to respond back to every comment. Um, I may just acknowledge it. Um, I do read them. Um, if there's, uh, if it's more of a, you know, Hey, thanks for, you know, or, um, love your videos. I might just, you know, like it, like respond back, like with a like or a, a heart on your, um, on your comment, but I do read them. Um, if you ask a question, I always try to respond. I think I do a pretty good job. Um, I try to answer them within two or three days, although the last few weeks it's been closer to, um, four days just because of the lack of time that I've had, um, with everything. Um, but I do really, really enjoy them very, very much. Um, bum, bum, bum. but stay tuned. I want to do a, uh, a whip, fantastical whip parade thing here. And, um, at some point, um, although I did a little mini one, um, with my, with my new pieces the other day, but, oh, and then Thursday, I'm going to be getting my prop, my frame projects are going to be done theoretically on Thursday, which I find insane. So, um, I don't know if they'll be done in time for me to do the video. Probably not. Um, and I don't know if, um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure something out. I'm going to, I may have to record just a little quick. Hey, I got everything back. Here's my little finished, my FFO parade here for everything I just got done because some of those things are gifts and I'm going to have to drop them in the mail pretty quickly to try to get them to their intended locations by Christmas. So we shall see, but I think we're just going to end things here. Um, I got to get to Gotta get to footballing. Gotta start uploading now that this video is in four parts. It's gonna take a little longer to put it together. So hoping for about midday or so. But you guys take care. Have a great rest of your week. I hope you got some good pro progress done on your pieces here and that we um you know we continue working on the things that we love. So uh take care, happy stitching, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>